Zamfara Council of the Nigeria Union of Journalists, NUJ, on Wednesday confirmed the murder of Hamisud Njibga, the state correspondent of the Voice of Nigeria, VON. A statement issued in Gusau by the state NUJ secretary, Ibrahim Ahmed, said that the body of the deceased was dumped in a soccer way by those who murdered him. Njibga had been missing for three days before his corpse was found. Sources said that the family was initially contacted to pay one million naira for his release, but the figure was raised by faceless persons suspected of his murder. News Agency of Nigeria also guarded that the police had arrested one person suspected of involvement in the killing of the veteran journalist. The NUJ extended its condolences to the deceased family, VON, and the people of Zampara State. It ought security agencies to thoroughly investigate the matter and bring the perpetrators of the Dastatli Act to justice. The deceased has been buried in Gusau, according to Islamic injunctions. Now, earlier, a veteran journalist and member of the Zampara State Correspondent Chapel of Nigerian Union of Journalists, Comrade Ibrahim Kanuma, gives an update on the incident. Honestly, it is a sad story. So we were with him on Friday, and only to get the news that uh, by Sunday he was uh, he's missing. So we try all we can to see how we can. Uh, but later on, some they use his number to text us that they, they need one million naira for a start. Later on, they said they need uh, seven million naira. While the police were on the on the issue, then suddenly yesterday, we are, while we are at the press center about five o'clock. We are called to come and identify a dead body in a gutter. So we all rushed there. When we rushed there, he was identified it was Hamis Danjuga that was killed and dumped into that gutter. And the most unfortunate is Soka, not even gutter, it's Soka way. And the most unfortunate thing is that those people who killed him and dumped him in that Soka way, they sealed the Soka way very close to his house. Very, very, not even very, very, very close to his house. The, the, the smelling started oozing out. People start to complain of smelling, something smelling very, very nasty. Then it began to start. Then they discovered that, that that smell is coming from that soccer. Soccer way. When they opened it, it was having the danger that was in that soccer. So it was a terrible situation. It was, honestly. Initially, we, we thought it was bandit. You know? But uh, from what happened and the information we gathered from his neighbors, it was not, his, but it was not bandit per se. But maybe some people within this vicinity. And uh, I think we cannot empty the police because the police are in need. But we are made to understand the police have made some arrest. And we are, as, as later on, when I was starting to speak to you by 2 o'clock, we were with the police. And uh, they told us that uh, they are making effort and uh, they have made some arrest. So we cannot say really now who are, who are involved until the police do need their investigation. Well, I, miss you. I knew Hamisu long ago, even before Zamfara was created. But uh, when we came to Zampara, we became so much very close to each other. And he's a quite a humble and gentleman. He works for Voice of Nigeria and some media out there, both print and, uh, uh, and, and, and both print and uh, the trusted media. He works for Voice of Nigeria. And later, this, just a recent, he was working with Bishop FM station in Zampara here and so many other both local and international organizations. He was a, quite a humble man, quite all right, honestly.